Konnichiwa and welcome back to Japan as we embark on the final chapter of our incredible Essential Japan journey with Sini. After a lovely couple of days in the country's ancient capital Kyoto, we're heading just an hour south to Nara. But there's one very special stop before we arrive. Of all of Japan's temples and shrines, Fushimi Inari is one of its most memorable, with a seemingly endless path of thousands of bright orange Tory gates winding up into the hills. It attracts thousands of tourists every day, but the further you head up the path, the more the crowds dwindle. From here, it's a short drive to Nara Park, home to the famous Todaji Temple, as well as many free-roaming wild deer, originally believed to be Shinto messengers of the gods, and now protected as a national treasure. Todaji's main temple building is one of the largest wooden buildings in the world, which is quite a feat considering the present structure is only two-thirds of the temple's original size. But what's even more impressive is what lies inside the temple. When this big Buddha was built in 752, it used up nearly all of Japan's bronze supplies, which nearly bankrupted the country. Some 30 years later, this Buddhist temple became so powerful that they moved the capital from here at Nara to Nagaoka purely to undermine the temple's influence on the government. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been travelling with Scenic, experiencing the very best of what this country has to offer. And now is a chance to explore its tragic recent history and show our respects. Hiroshima was the first city in history to suffer a nuclear attack and it was believed at the time the city might never recover. It was in 1945 that the world's first atomic bomb was dropped right here, almost completely obliterating everything within a two kilometre radius. And the aftermath was just as devastating. It's a testament to the strength of the human spirit that this city is once again thriving and this peace park was created as a symbol of hope. The atomic bomb dome was one of the few structures left standing after the bomb, and now the iconic ruin dominating the riverbank serves as a reminder of the devastation of the past. So this is the memorial for the children who died? Yes. And what does this inscription say? It says, this is our cry, this is our prayer, for building the peace in this world. This is our cry, this is our prayer for building the peace in the world. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. While the city of Hiroshima is better known for its tragic past, it's also an area of stunning scenery. From Hiroshima Bay, it's a short trip by boat to Miyajima Island, the final stop on our incredible Essential Japan adventure with Scenic. As well as being one of the most picturesque spots in the country, it's also one of the most sacred. The island of Miyajima has been worshipped for centuries as a spiritual place, owing to its religious origins and incredible natural landscape. Its older shrines were originally constructed in the sea as the land was deemed too sacred to build on. At around 9 k's long and with walking paths all around, you can easily spend all day exploring the island's attractions, including its local delicacies. 
I saw lots of oyster beds as we were coming in on the ferry. Yes, this area is very famous for lots of oysters. Oh, I love oysters. Let's oh, get some. Yes, OK. Although, as well as the regular shucked variety, they seem to have gotten creative with their oyster offerings. What is that? <laughs> it doesn't look like an oyster. <laughs> this is curried donut. Oyster donut. Curried oyster donut. Yeah. You will love it. Oh. Oh, oh, that's moisty. Yeah. I, do I like really it. don't love it. Mm. It's awful. Mm. Do you actually like this, Aki? Yes, I love it. Okay. But, but We're going like to notch this one up to a cultural difference. Mm. Okay. While I can't vouch for the oyster donuts, I can promise you Miyajima Island is a fitting end to what has been a truly unforgettable journey with scenic.